there's another snowstorm coming. It'll be here probably tomorrow, um, tomorrow, tomorrow evening. I just came by interlibrary loan today. Well, I just picked it up today. And then last week I ordered this. And it arrived the day the Hitchens died. I have ten of these. Um, these used to cost about the price of a gallon of gas. See, or oh, the price is upside down. Two ninety nine, And I got them for 25 cents a piece today. Didn't I? So yes, I bought 10 of those. I uh, bought about 10 bags of um, tortilla chips and some cheese puffs and stuff. Also 50 cents a bag. I have lots of um, beef fries and cheese and stuff. So when it snows, I'll have plenty to eat. I have books to read. Went to the clinic today to do a follow-up on having gotten hit in the head. I was supposed to get a doctor's approval to get a x-ray. Well, the doctor started asking me questions about the getting hit in the head thing. Experiencing any nausea, any dizziness, problems with memory, problems with physical coordination, any numbness and tingling. See, so, yeah, but I, I feel those things all the time and have done for years. And the stuff about my vision, this new thing of why is the outer part of my ear canal going numb on both ears? Tingling, a big patch on my right thigh, about the size of a Mexican papaya, which is really big. Um, size of a watermelon, size of a about a loaf of a large loaf of bread that goes numb to the point where it feels like somebody scooped out part of my leg and there's a hollow spot there like a bowl so I started asking me questions about it and I started telling him about it and he's scheduled an MRI because he thinks I have multiple sclerosis I have been just misdiagnosed my entire life <clears throat> the multiple sclerosis didn't surprise me. I heard it once before about 25 years ago, 30. No follow-up. Other diagnoses I've had, multiple sclerosis, brain injuries, uh, 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 fibromyalgia, which I'm not even sure is a real thing. I don't know. Lupus? Brain injuries and now back to it. I don't trust the medical industrial complex as far as I can shit. I don't trust alternative medicine either. Medicine. But these days it's all about plug them and drug them. And because I'm on Medicaid, every predator is looking out, looking for me because I'm poor for a way to get money out of me. Make a living off of me. Especially the drug companies. Three times today in the clinic. Any anxiety or depression? Any anxiety or depression? All these little rural clinics are, are pushing happy pills, buddy. All of them. Big Pharma's encouraging them to do it. With what I don't know. I know they give out a lot of free gifties. And I know that every poster in a medical office wall is from a car pharmaceutical company. The pens, the clipboards, everything. And I won't take my daughter in chemicals. Can you understand why? So I'm pretty scared. I think about how badly I've been treated. Not just in this town, but in my life. People calling me lazy or saying I wasn't trying hard enough. You don't know how hard I work. I got snow in a trash barrel out there because when the pipes freeze and um they will um it's a black trash barrel and I can put it in the sun and it'll melt so I can have bath water
I'm getting dizzy now just going through all this, you know, because I'm. Merry flipping Christmas, huh? So if any of you out there have multiple sclerosis and know good ways to take care of it that don't have to do with taking steroids or anti-immunity drugs like the stuff Christopher Hitchens was on, you know, they think it's caused by an immune deficit, like an autoimmune disorder, the blood-brain barrier won't let antibodies in so that if there's any cooties in your brain, I don't know if it's bacterial or viral, I, I forget. If there's any cooties floating around in your brain and start chewing on stuff, your um, own immune system can't repair the damage. It's the fatty sheath over the nerve cells. It's called myelin or myelinin. It's why I go psychotic if I eat a vegetarian diet because I'm not getting enough fat and enough animal protein and I can't make plant, plant protein work that well and I just go a little whack doodle if I if I'm not if I'm a vegetarian a little whack doodle I'll go psychotic I'll make me a hot cup of coffee in a little bit have me one of my old leftover pastries. I have to warm it up in the microwave to sort of soften up a little bit. Have me one of my beautiful home rolled cigarettes made out of that brilliant tobacco. And my coffee is excellent. This is one of those times when I wish I wasn't alone. I think a person deserves a hug. And I can't get the MRI until they were going to schedule it for Friday. But hell, there's a snowstorm coming in tomorrow. And you can barely drive out there as it is. And Albuquerque 75 miles away. And it's some dangerous road. And that's where the MRI would be. So I called them and told them I, I thought it was best that I wait. A, until there might be better weather. And B, until I had money for gasoline. And so, C, I schedule it for the 9th because my food stamps come in on the 8th, which is a Sunday. So, Monday the 9th, I'll go to Albuquerque and I'll buy my groceries. And I'll take the dogs and we'll make a day of it. And I'll get my MRI. Yeah, I've been trying to get an MRI for 25 years. There's always some reason why I fell through the cracks. Nobody would do it. It's a $3,000 procedure. If there's some excuse why Medicaid or Medicare won't pay for this, it's a $3,000 procedure. This travel trailer I live in and the truck outside together are just over $3,000, $3,500. Everything I own. I'm in a town where I'm not welcome. And I don't care. It is almost Christmas and people talking about family and being warm and fire and fireplace and presents and good meals. And I have hot dogs, refried beans, corn chips. Yes, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'm going to turn this thing off and put it on YouTube. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to put it up. Bye.